I'd like you to have this toy very much. It shows how our children and the whole Soviet people want peace. Well, thank you very much. I think children on our planet cannot be happy while we have nuclear weapons. I know our country wants to and it has suggested that we might perhaps do away with all nuclear weapons on Earth until I grow up, before I grow up. That would be a good thing indeed. Well, Katya, nice. I think that then children will be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you want to know something? I'm not a child anymore, but I'll be happy too. I think we, yes, we almost do everything we can to get rid of those nuclear weapons before you all grow up. Мы делаем, можно сказать, все, что можем, чтобы избавиться от всего ядерного оружия до того, как ты вырастешь. Well, it's me. I know, I can tell that. <laughs> well, we're very pleased to have you here in our country. Мы очень рады, что ты приехал в нашу страну. And very pleased. Oh, is this for me too? Yes. Thank you. And this is a present for you too, so that you can become a child within yourself, with all the children of the world. Thank you. The children as the teachers of peace. You see, it's very easy for me to agree with you about peace. There has been four wars in my lifetime. And I'm glad that you're here and going to accompany her. If all of the children of the world could get to know each other, there wouldn't be any more wars. Если бы все дети мира могли подружиться, познакомиться, больше не будет войны. Are you having a good time? Хорошо тебе? Well, I envied you last night. I, I won't be able to go to the circus. Вчера вечером он тебе позавидовал, он не сможет пойти в цирк. Well, you are her mother? Well, it's nice to see you and welcome you here. All right. Well, I'll go to work now. Part of the work will be toward the by. Thank you for being the hostess. Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you very much. All right. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Well, it's good to see you. Do you know? Hi, Jim. Oh, hey, nice to see you again. Oh, nice to see you. Thank you so much. I'm Abel Poitras. Nice to see you again. Well, listen, I'm so...
so pleased with what you're doing. And I think national security and human rights go hand in hand. I hope, I just got back from Moscow, and it looks as if they really might do a new spirit of cooperation in these matters. They're like frogs in a pod, and I'm not sure which way to jump. So, uh, they gave us the biggest lunch they've given anybody in a long time. We'll see what happens. Well, that's, that's great. I'd like to get some of those divided you. spouses together. Just between us, yes, between us, I'll tell you what I did with him in the fireside meeting in Geneva. I talked to him at great length about this, and I said, look, I'm not asking for an agreement. I said, this is something in which I will never mention it, it will never be made public, but what I'm saying is that if you would do this, we would stand back and let it be totally that it was your program, and your idea, but my reason for asking is it would make it much easier then for me to make agreements and do things with you because this is a great source spot with our people. I so. made one uh, approach to them that seemed to make a sense to them. I said one in every ten Americans has at least one grandparent in the Soviet Union or Eastern Europe. Paul and I are good examples of it. Ah. And, uh, and I said, so with us, it's not a political matter. It's a family matter. And how can we trust you if you treat your own people this way? What hope is there for the rest ah. of us? So if you want confidence building, this is the place to build confidence. But then, as I say, if you'd have that other that we won't go off bragging right. and saying we got this That's concession or anything. No, we just, we just be pleased right. and happy that they did it. The other thing I, I mentioned is that when Mr. Gorbachev comes to America, I said, remind him he'll be coming to visit many of his own countrymen. About 10% about of us are from yeah. there. So, uh, well, that's great. It's not just politics. That's great. Well, Mr. President, thanks again. Keep up the great work yourself. All the better. Thank you. Thanks. thanks very much. Thanks. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Did you put Gaddafi back in his box? <laughs>